What's up, everyone? Andy Drifter here. I hope your day is going well. And welcome to this week's episode of Card Show Pickups. The first card that I have for your viewing is a 1983 Donruss rookie card of Hall of Fame second baseman for the Chicago Cubs, Ryan Sandberg. It registered as a PSA 9. Sandberg, a 10-time All-Star, a 9-time Gold Glove winner, a 7-time Silver Slugger. Three times in his career, he finished in the top 10 in NL MVP voting. And in 1984, he took home the trophy. 282 career home runs. 275 came at the second base position, which ranks third best all time for that position. When I was a kid, having this card was a big deal. Fast forward to present time. This card is commonly referred to as a junk wax era card. However, this one here is in rather good shape, which explains the PSA 9 grading. So that is the first card that I have for you. A PSA 9, 1983 Don Rush rookie card of Ryan Sandberg, a.k.a. Rhino. Next up is an on-card auto from former relief pitcher Roger McDowell. As you can see, he's got a unique and beautiful signature. Now, what assurances were provided to me that this auto is legit? Well, the dealer told me he got it from Roger himself. Now, yes, I am aware that people have been known to lie, specifically in situations like this. Prior to purchasing it, I compared this signature to other McDowell signatures on cards, and it was a spot-on match. Yes, it could still be a Fugazi. So my plan is to send this card off to PSA and have the SIG authenticated. No need to grade the card. As you can see from the upper left corner, this card is not in the best shape. McDowell, he pitched for my Philadelphia Phillies. Prior to that, he pitched for the Mets. That's where he had his best years of his career. He was a pivotal part of that 1986 World Series winning team. He was pulling double duty, not only as a relief pitcher, triple duty, I should say, a relief pitcher. He started two games and doing middle relief. That year, he went 14-9 and nine and logged 22 saves. He was great down their postseason stretch, and that is where he got his one and only ring. After that, he went to Philly. As you can see here, he spent some time in L.A., Bounced around with some other teams towards the end of his career. And when it was all said and done, he had 159 career saves. After playing, he served as a pitching coach for the Braves. Should this autograph come back as a fake, well, I'll be out $2. So the way I saw it, it was a small gamble. Once again, you are looking at an on-card auto. This time from the only NFL player to go undrafted. And then go on to win a regular season MVP and a Super Bowl MVP. This signature is from Hall of Fame quarterback Kurt Warner. Now this card was purchased from a different dealer. Once again, I was assured that this signature was acquired in person. But he took it one step further. He said, if it comes back as a fake, come and see me and I'll refund your money. So when you factor in that handsome offer along with the fair price of $25 that I paid for this card, I don't see how I went wrong. I will send this off to PSA, see what they think about this signature, and once I get it back, I will share the results with you. Kurt Warner, his football career has often been referred to as a Cinderella story, and that it is. If you haven't seen the movie American Underdog, which I believe came out last year, check it out. It's a great film. It chronicles his life, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. I mean, it is truly an amazing story to go undrafted. He was invited to a workout with the Packers in 94. They did not like what they saw. They told him to get lost. Then he bounced around uh, in independent leagues, arena football leagues. But then a few years later, he got his chance. And man, oh man, did he make the most of it. So yeah, that is the third card that I have for your viewing. An on-card auto, a hopefully authentic on-card auto from Hall of Fame quarterback, Super Bowl champ, and two-time MVP, Kurt Warner. The final card I have for you is somewhat of an interesting one. 
This is a Purple Prism numbered rookie card auto of quarterback Mason Rudolph, who at the moment is a free agent. A few days ago, Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin did a press conference where he answered a bunch of questions, and one of which was to the effect of, what are your future plans for Mason Rudolph? And he said, we are very much interested in continuing to do business with Mason Rudolph. He also said, probably with a wink and a nod in that very same press conference, that next season, more than likely, Kenny Pickett will be our starting QB. Now, if the Steelers are able to offer a handsome extension to Mason Rudolph and he stays put, there will be an open competition for that starting gig. And there's a very good chance Mason Rudolph might win that job. Now, just for a second, let's try to get inside the head of Mason Rudolph. I would wager that he has sour grapes towards the Steelers organization and their fans. When Big Ben was on his way out, that was Rudolph's chance to prove himself. Instead, they brought in Mitch Trubisky. I don't know why. And when that experiment failed, they drafted Kenny Pickett, held on to Trubisky, and demoted Mason Rudolph to third string practice squad QB, then third string once again. We all saw what happened this year. At the end of the season, he saved the day, along with some help from some other teams. He probably wants to test the free agent market, see if there's any interest. Personally, I don't see any teams, coaches, GMs, whatever, who are jumping out of their seats trying to get a meeting with Mason Rudolph. So he may have to put his emotions to the side, if there are any, stay in Pittsburgh and beat out Kenny Pickett for that starting role as QB for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Keep in mind, he's only 28 years old, and if he does more of what he did at the end of this last regular season, he could turn that into a really big contract. As far as this card, I'll send this off to get graded, and of course, once I get it back, I will share the result with you. So, that is it for this episode of Card Show Pickups. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and have a wonderful night.